Hey everybody, welcome back once again to another City Skylines, where today we are looking at our beautiful functioning. We'll get to the story of Sophie Dixon here in a second, okay? Because that's that's coming around. But um, we're looking at our city as a whole from above right now. We actually have uh, three tiles unlocked, and I will admit, um, I I had a rather slow holiday. And I found myself coming back to this game, and I'm like, okay, you know, I don't want to play too, too much, but then again, I really do want to expand the city a little bit more. So, that's what we've done here today. Um, and I'll kind of take you in and show you what all we've done. But one of my biggest problems, and I actually cited this on the Instagram, is that, like, this city, it, it, it hasn't faced a tsunami or anything like that just yet. It hasn't run into a, um, like, it, it had a twister, I think one twister, but its biggest problem in the disaster arena, as you can see from the many circles on the map, is freaking asteroids. I just, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't even know, it's like, I think this one was a, a 9.3 asteroid. This one over here was a 8.3, and this one, which was, I think, the second asteroid to hit, was, like, maybe a 6.8 or something like that. And then we've even had little tiny asteroids, too, that occasionally come. Like, this right here, this was an asteroid at one time. And um, since then, it's actually been occupied by a Chick-fil-A. So there you go. That's uh, that's using your your land for all it's worth, right? Jeez, who who went and desecrate a sacred asteroid site with a hearty chicken meal supplier, right? That seems like a good trade out. So, yeah, um, man, Sophia, I I just don't even know because like I, okay, where is she? Where the hell did Sophia go? Is she right here? Yeah, there she is. So Sophia is a very uneducated teen <laughs> who has decided to walk on this very dangerous, treacherous road all by herself across the middle of an asteroid, just crater. Like, look at the drop on this thing. I don't know what the hell I was thinking when, um, yeah, this is just as much to blame on me, Sophie, as, um, as yourself walking across this dangerous area but one lane road going with a drop just straight to to hell you know i just i i i'm sorry sophie if you run into any problems there pretty soon in like five minutes sophia dixon died in the hospital right uh what else have we done though while we were away we Okay, well, this needs to be fixed. We have a bridge just going in there. We put in a couple of, um... Of... I, I want to call them Hoover Dams. That's not right. What the hell is it called? Hydro Power Plant. There you go. It's the same thing. Hoover Dam's the same damn thing. You know? It's just... Different, right? Yeah. We've also unlocked the solar power plant because... We have, and since our time away, expanded to a grand city. So we've unlocked the third loan, we've unlocked water treatment plants, which we're going to have to get down soon, some crematoriums, floating garbage collectors, which always a great thing to be having out. Um, I think... Hang on a second here. Hang on a second. Where the hell is our garbage? Okay. Pollution. There we go. Wow. The pollution is actually being carried back. We are actually getting a lot of power from shit water. That is just phenomenal. Alright. Well, I don't know why this dam is backwards. I didn't intentionally place it backwards, and for some reason it got turned around. So, whatever. Now let's just worry about connecting our bridge. We 
make sure that we have a little bit of focus there when it comes to being able to traverse our our grand um <laughs> our grand canal jeez this is so polluted and then you get here and it's so beautifully clear we just need to have all that water like that speaking of acquiring land we do have a ton of freaking money right now and i bought this the other night um, because I was thinking this is actually our industrial area right here and I'm kind of thinking about just pushing that north and maybe over here so I think I'm going to I think we can only buy three more tiles so we'll probably buy that one that one and that one just so we can have our coast but I kind of want to get that one too so I don't know we'll see and it would be nice actually Either one of these is going to allow us a, um, an additional place to gather fresh water from. But it's probably safer to do it from there. So... Yeah. You know, I'm actually... I'm actually just thinking about this right now. The more I look at it... And I kind of think that it might be smarter to expand our industrial south. Would it? Because then we're actually going to have our polluted waterway. We could have our pollution from the factories and everything down there too. That might be better. You know what? We'll just let it play out and we'll just kind of see what happens right now. Right now I am more worried about just getting another access point because very, very soon we're going to have and when I say access point, I really mean like just a free interstate ramp because I'm that cheap. Um, I'll admit it. I am. I'm that cheap. We have the harbor that we're unlocking soon, the cargo harbor. Actually, I think we already have access to that because of the the mass um, transit, right? Do we? Let's look at this really quick. Why do I think we do? Monorail... Metro monorail. I haven't put down any of these yet, you guys, so, like, yeah, we don't have access to it. Okay, we will soon, though. So, why don't we go ahead and put down a... This, the tram doesn't actually pollute at all. The bus station does, right? No, it doesn't. Why did I think the bus station did? Large Avenue with bus lanes. I don't think I've ever put that down either. Alright, let's try putting a bus station down. And we'll put down our Eco Fuel bus station too. So let's go in here and just kind of see where maybe a bus station might work. Actually, maybe like right in this area? Kind of where our earthquake happened, right? There's no hospitals or anything over here, correct? No, of course there isn't. So we'll just plop one down right there. And we will put the supplier to our eco buses right next door. And let's go ahead and map out a route. Stops, don't we? <laughs> I'm pathetic, I know. Okay. Let's do um let's do a bus line going from like downtown to just do like something short and sweet. And then we'll come back around like that. That'll be line one. That's like the main downtown area to this sort of hub of a community that we have going on up here. And then we'll have another one that just does the exact same thing, but it'll go down into this subdivision down here. Cannot find a path? You line freaking... Okay, we'll just go there, and we'll just come back around. It's all about short lines right now, you guys. The short lines. 
Wolves. This one will be for walkers, I think. We'll have a stop right there, and then we'll go back into like the industrial way, and we'll have like two stops, because I don't expect people to get off work and walk all the way freaking down there, and then, you know, to catch their bus. That's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous, and it's freaking mean, too. I think it might go against like the Geneva Convention, to be honest. Don't you think? Then again, there are a lot of people that, um, that do worse, I think, so... There we go. Um, how many more lines should we add right now? I'm just not sure. We should probably have, like, a deep line. Um, going, we will say, from, like, our richer area. We'll have it start on the other side of the street. And we'll go, um... We'll just put one there, and then we'll have it go all the way down to the offices. And we will have it stop in this kind of residential community. And then come back over here, and we'll complete our line. So we have just one, like, going around this residential hub for, say, like, Sophia and our friends to jump on and, like, ride from their house to their friend's house and back. Let's do that. Just kind of stop on like every street. And, uh, up there. And, cool. Um, what about the office park? Ah, screw the office park. I think that's enough. I really do. I think that's more than enough right now for what we have. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Oh my god, that's really close to our, um, <laughs> our freaking solar power plant. God. Where is the fire department? Huh? Well, that, that might be, um, why there's no fire department there. Because the fire department really doesn't exist over here. Now, uh, I mean, the fires are going out. So, did they finally get there? They, they went and they put out that one fire, and the freaking jerks are just driving away. Just turning their backs to the other buildings that are ablaze over here. But, oof, poor Williams Factory. It never stood a chance. Uh, I can't believe it. Okay. So... Let's look at our situation right now before we go dropping any more money. Our electricity, right now we're producing 841 watts. Is it milliwatts or watts? I'm not for sure. Water availability is starting to go down a little bit. We should probably address that. Um, garbage. I added a ton of freaking garbage things right now. Right now our landfill capacity is 136 million units. That is just unfathomable, you guys. I... Or not 146 million units, it's actually, um... Yeah, it, the capacity. Okay, my bad. Jeez. Okay. Why is that road not connected? It's not a good thing. We just randomly find a road that's not connected. Um. Right. Well, I'll just have a stretch back over our national park because for some reason it won't dip down. Oh, because of the train. That's why. That kind of sucks. Earthquakes have been, like, another huge nightmare for me, as you can see from, like, this, just going into a crater. Actually, I think the crater came afterwards. And then, like, right here, just that kind of erased one of our original craters, that's why there's a Chick-fil-A there. But, what a disaster. What a flippin' disaster this place is, right? Man. Okay. Well, we can put down some residential units, so let's go ahead and do that, but I'm going to put down some industrial first, just because I want to slowly 
move that residential area up north and get rid of some of this crap. And I'll admit, I probably should have planned that out a little bit better than I did. But when you are um, using the land you got to do what you do, you gotta do what you do, right? I don't know if that makes sense or not. Sometimes I just say stuff to say. Okay. How, how did that place even survive without water for that long? It had been there for days, you guys. Days! What the hell? They didn't feel that they needed to, like, rape their congressman or something and say, Hey, doofus, we don't have freaking water over here. Unfathomable. Meanwhile, across from our scenic garbage dumps, factories slowly climb to life. And nothing like coming back from holiday and finding a red and green smokestack just gracing your industrial park. You know, that sort of like screams out the anti-holiday. Like, ho, ho, ho! <laughs> we... <laughs> We didn't feel it was necessary to dress up for the holiday, but now that the holiday is over, we're nonconformist, even though you think we're conformist. And crazy. All right. So, well, let's go back over here. We have a ton of space over here, you guys, and I think we're just going to add some residential roads to this because it just doesn't make sense not to, you know. Or actually, I could just make a residential section here between this massive commercial because originally my my intent was to make this all commercial. And since we already have the residential over here, well, let's do that. Let's do that. That's probably a better idea. So, let's bring this Obviously, a lot of people are um, getting off the interstate and going straight to their office, but the few that stay on are going to their new homes. Over here, look at this guy. How big is this place going to be? Oh, just, just five stories? Well, that's kind of lame. I was hoping for something a little bit bigger, but... Ah. <sighs> Okay. Well, well, those guys are building away. Let's take care of some of the animal issues that we have going on over here. What is that? What does that icon mean? I don't think I've seen that icon before. Not enough goods to sell. Really? Where the hell are you getting your goods, guy? Oh, the, the, the Hilo Furniture Store. You want? I'm really not worried if you go out of business or not, man. I mean, seriously. It's not like it's palace. <laughs> what is this place? Replacing our abandoned store is... A Carl's Jr. Alright. I think I can get behind that. Walking in a chicken tender land. Okay. So. I think, since our community is demanding it, we might as well add a little bit of commercial value over here. So let's just put a 
little bit of low-res commercial and high-res commercial down this way. I really didn't mean for it to stretch that far, but yeah, it is what it is, right? And we'll just kind of bring this down and do that. So now we're set as far as getting our pipes laid. And man, that high-res commercial just goes up so quick. The Art Center. So all the art students come, and then they go to Wendy's, and then they go back to the Art Center, and then they go back to Wendy's. Because you know, if there's a Wendy's right across the street from where you're like going to school, you're not just gonna go there once, you're going to go there twice. Because, double stack, right? You gotta live up to the names. I mean, come on. Jeez. Okay. What's this place? Oh, Shell. Alright. King Leno is actually the guy behind a lot of these mods, you guys. So if you're looking to put them in your own game, um, definitely look him up on the Steam Workshop and check out some of the awesome stuff he has because it just is fully functional and always the the most incredible realizations of like actual buildings like honestly i think um okay so funny story real quick just while i'm in front of this pizza hut um and we don't have any disasters going on or our town's doing okay <laughs> Um, so there was actually two of these Pizza Huts real close to where I grew up, and there was, like, the good Pizza Hut, right, which pretty much was, um, the one that you go to with your friends and family, and there was the bad Pizza Hut, which was in the bad part of town, which, I mean, come on, you guys can probably take a guess of what went on there, and you can probably take a guess of which one this one is, because, look at this. It's literally an extension of the freaking school here. They probably do all kinds of, like, giveaways and special things for them during, like, the holidays and everything. Who knows? But the story here is, um, in the bad part of town, right, they, they had a fire. Ironically enough, at a pizza place, they had a fire. And the pizza hut burnt down. And they ended up finding out what caused the fire was a guy was trying to microwave a hamburger <laughs> and had put a fork in the microwave. And so hamburgers ultimately caused that Pizza Hut to burn down. I mean, that's, that's just... it's too funny. But... Alright, so, what the hell, why don't you have water? Why is your sign white? Oh, I thought it was white. It does look white, doesn't it? Alright, let's take care of one issue at a time. So weird, they don't have water. I guess they're a little further out than I thought, huh? Same situation with this. Okay. So it looks like we're actually losing people for some reason. Why the hell are we losing people? Let's get off the landmarks. Capital City, we are slowly falling away from that mark, which we need to get up there and actually move towards it. Electricity is slowly dying off. Our water, our sewage treatment, we need to address all this probably immediately rather than later. So let's go ahead and let's put down the solar power plant. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put one right here in this community. And, um, let's... Can I actually just plop it right down next to... I really don't want to take away that space. I'll just put it right here. There. Alright. So. Solar power plant. It is a staple in the community. I mean, why would you not want to go to your friendly neighborhood Dunkin Donuts and see in the background the the beautiful skyline of the solar power plant, right? It's pretty amazing, if I do say so myself. What's this? 
I love I love just waiting in the commercial districts to see like what commercial properties are gonna pop up because they're so entertaining. Oh, just the go nuts donuts store. Now be honest, right? If if you had to go to Go Nuts Donuts or Dunkin' Donuts, which one would you go to? Huh? Huh. I mean, come come on, guys. Really. Okay. Now that that very hard ethical question has been addressed, let's run back up here to our industrial area and just lay out a little bit more industrial space so we can satisfy that craving. Because these people are just losing their crap over having industrial space in our community. I can kind of understand why though, you know? Like, they just, they want to make sure that they can make crap. So, whatever. Or import crap and have laborers unload it for next to nothing and, and do their thing that way. Which is always a possibility. But, is that really not connected? No, it's connected. I thought I dropped it right on the line. Good. Come on. Pop on. There we go. Okay. Sewage treatment. Back up to acceptable levels. Let's go ahead and put down another water intake or two as well. Just So our water pumping capacity is 840,000 units a week, and our consumption is like half of that, a little less than half of that, but still. Our water tank usage, though, I don't know if there's a way to actually control that or not. I think really the only way to control that is just to add more water tanks. The same thing with like food resupply on the shelters. Like if we go to one of our shelters really quick, um, where is one of our shelters? I want to say that there's one like right. Uh, there it is, right there. Yeah, that one is just like almost out of food entirely, and it's kind of like, what do you do there? You know, I don't know. 